So what we want to do in these videos is take a wholly algebraic approach now to the sigma notation. And what we want to be able to do is to completely factorise this uh, series. So the sum from r is 1 to n of 6r squared minus 4r cubed. Now, for memory's sake, these are the three expansions that we are given in the formula booklet. This expansion is not given to us. This is one that we just have to remember. Okay? So, if I'm going to expand this, then the first thing that you need to be able to do is say, well, this is six lots of r is 1 to n of r squared, take away four lots of the sum from r is 1 to n of r cubed. Now, this line of working, uh, you don't actually have to write down if, you already, if you're already happy about that expansion, but I'm doing it for this video just to show you that that's what we can do. We can break it apart. So, we've got six lots of the sum of r squared, so six lots of this. So 6 lots times 1 sixth n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1. Take away 4 lots of this one. So 4 lots of 1 quarter n squared, n plus 1 squared. So what we find is that the 6 and the 1 sixth cancel, the 4 and the quarter cancel. So I'm going to be left with n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, take away n squared, n plus 1 squared. Now we want to factorise this. So what you want to do is definitely not expand the brackets. The problem with expanding the brackets will be that you will end up with a quartic because you'll have an n to the 4. It'll be incredibly difficult to factorise that from scratch. So what you want to do is you want to factorise it straight off and only if you cannot see a factorisation should you ever expand brackets. So I can see that both of these terms, so this term and this term, they both have an n in common, so I can factor that out, and they both have an n plus 1, so I can factor that out. So n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 will make this first term. And n times n plus 1 times n times n plus 1 will make the second term. So multiplying that by that will get you there. That by that times that will get you there. Now... Here, I'm going to have to expand those brackets. There's nothing I can factor out there. So I've got 2n plus 1, take away n squared, take away n. So we've got n, n plus 1, uh, minus n squared. 2n take away n is just n, and I've got a plus 1 now. Okay, so with that, um, with this bracket, can it be factorised? A quick check on a calculator will allow you to do that. So, minus 1, 1, and 1. Um, it won't factorise nicely, so I'm going to leave it just like that. Um, you could take a minus 1 out the front if you like, but it's probably preferable to leave it as is. So that is how we want to get from our starting position to our final position. Okay, And I'm going to go through several examples. Now, the key stage, if you will, is this stage to this stage. That is the stage that most students have difficulty with. And it is this one that I really want to focus on in the next few videos.